St. John's, Newfoundland is the home of Josephine and Dave Billard. They are avid world travelers. Last year, the couple was able to take the trip of a lifetime, spending five months on a voyage from Greece, through Europe, and finishing in Norway, occasionally posting a few photos to Facebook. Norway, look at that, the yeah. fjords. Santorini. Yeah, that's incredible. That's incredible. But the Billards never got around to backing up the rest of the thousands of images they took with their iPhone. When they got back to Newfoundland last summer and went for a canoe ride on this pond near their property, disaster struck. When we pushed off and you were in the bow and my foot was off center. I, I, I didn't hit dead center. Slightly off center, we sent it that way and then we both corrected it the wrong way and over we went. So we flipped the canoe, the phone went in the pond and went right to the bottom. I would say we were in four or five feet of water, but it's amazing how your mind flicks automatically to, oh my gosh, my data, my phone. Yeah, well, there were lots of pictures. In a panic, Josephine contacted Apple and asked what could be done to recover her thousands of precious photos. Well, we were shocked and surprised that, of course, that the iPhone people and Apple can't help. You know, that right. they, they appeared to have no, they had, they had virtually had no interest really in, in, in us. They'd like to sell you a new phone right away, but they don't, they, don't, they don't really care so much about the data. And we were more concerned about the data. Josephine visited other small repair shops in St. John's, but no one was able to help her. Finally, she visited this small company that gave her the name of an expert 3,000 kilometers away near Rochester, New York. I was very doubtful, but I, I tried to have hope that we would get them back, but I was, in my heart, I really didn't think I would ever see those photos other than in my mind's eye, truthfully. This is Honeyoy Falls, New York. 30 kilometers outside of Rochester, the home of iPad Rehab, a small business run by Jessa Jones. Part of why, uh, you know, Many of her customers are surprised to discover that Jessa holds a molecular biology PhD from the Johns Hopkins School of Medicine. Maybe it's just the connectors. She studied human genetics. When she moved here and started a family, she somehow started fixing iPads and iPhones. Now I apply the same sort of analytical reasoning skills and working with things that are really, really small that have no user manual. So now I try to fix iPhones, figure out how they work and how to get them to turn back on when they stop working. You might wonder how a molecular biologist ended up in this line of work. Are we supposed to turn these over? Oh God. Jessa and her husband Jeff have four children, including twins. One day, Jessa was missing her cell phone at home and discovered that the kids were playing with it and somehow dropped it into the toilet. I tried to plunge it out, tried to auger it out. Hey, Google, how do you, how do you take a toilet out of the house? Time to get mommy's phone. Who I carried it out and up? put it right. in the front yard. One baby, two babies, we're ready and to go. And then I got a sledgehammer yeah, and I sledgehammered it. Look at that. There was my iPhone. Joan sacrificed her $100 toilet for a phone that cost several times that amount. Then she went on the internet and taught herself how to repair iPhones. She studied electronics and micro soldering and eventually figured out how to repair her phone. Once she figured that out, she started passing on her skills to other stay at home moms in her neighborhood and realized there was a business opportunity here. I think that women in general are very good at repair. You know, they, they tend to have the sort of, you know, kind of uh, ability to, to, be very, to be very gentle and yet at times apply enough pressure to get things to move around. They're, they're appropriately cautious but also aggressive and some of those are kind of skills that you develop being a mom. When the Billard's water-damaged iPhone arrived from Newfoundland, it presented a challenge. We recorded as Jessa called them on FaceTime to share some news. Hi. You sent me a phone that's been driving me crazy since August. Uh, there's about 8,000 pictures on there, which mean quite a lot to me. Yes, I can imagine, because I can tell that your trip 
looks amazing. Oh my God, you got you got my pictures. Oh my God, so we awesome. have all your pictures. That is that beautiful. Oh my yes, God. so it's wow. all recovered, and there were thousands of them. I grieved over those pictures. Oh my God, and I and, suffered. And my mom it oh. oh no. And I grieved over those because I did not think it was possible to get them back. You made my day. Oh, All right. That's what I love to hear. All right. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Thank Bye. you for having this work. Those are the best moments of my job. It turns out that the advice the Billards got from Apple about how their pictures were not recoverable is not at all unusual. The most common answer, and I hear this from customers all the time, is there is no way to get your pictures from your iPhone if it won't turn on. It's, it's heartbreaking. It's absolutely heartbreaking because it is absolutely not true. Most toilet phones, you know, common family water accidents, most of those are recoverable. In, in your experience, what percentage of phones in that condition can be recovered? 95%. Really? All right. There we go. Do we have touch? And she is so sure yeah. she charges $300 only if she can get the data back. So it's good news. You're lucky, Wes. You're lucky you skated by on that one. Apple makes a show of helping people with troubleshooting their devices. The company runs this online community forum that coaches people to try a restart and not much else. They allow people like Jessa to offer advice to customers. But whenever Jessa tells people online that their devices can actually be easily repaired by someone other than Apple, her advice is quickly removed from the online forum. And then she receives this notice, your account is currently banned. It felt incredibly unfair given how, how hard I tried to, to follow the rules. I've read the terms of use. I have followed the terms of use you know, to, the, to the best of my ability, and then this is, the, this is the result. They don't want people to know. They don't want people to try to fix their phone, to recover the data. They don't care. They, they blame you. It's your fault. We double-checked Jess's claims by contacting the Apple Forum ourselves. When we asked what we could do to recover photos from a water-damaged phone, the answer was nothing. They're gone. There is no way to recover any data that was on it, including the photos, that was not already backed up. We wrote again to ask if we should try Jess's data recovery service. The answer was, not unless you have money to burn. They can't recover your photos. No one can. The data is gone. We also contacted the official site for Apple support and got a similar answer. As the photos weren't backed up, Unfortunately, there is no way to recover them. When we asked Apple about why they provided false information, they chose not to respond. To find out if everything from here back... Jessa Jones says she loves the design of Apple products, but just wishes the company would adjust its corporate culture. Everything that Apple does kind of goes with that same mindset. If you think of them as, you know, the kind of kid in school that... That, that says, you know, hey, don't, you can borrow my crayons, but don't bear down. You know, just kind of the bossy, controlling, you know, <laughs> hover mother. And, and, and everything they do is just sort of with that attitude. I'd like for somebody to just smack them and say, you're not the boss of me. Let's, let's investigate this guy right here. For The National, right. I'm Terrence McKenna in Honeyoy Falls, New York. All right, everybody understand that? Now, if you want to know more about the technical details of how Jessa Jones was able to get that data off the water damaged phone, we have this extra video on our YouTube channel where she explains all of it. Check it out. And while you're there, you can subscribe youtube.com slash CBC The National.